Hello everyone, welcome back into the shop. It is wonderful to have all of you guys here. So in yesterday's video, I mentioned that in the next video, which is this video, I'm going to be starting my next project. And as you can see by the thumbnail and title, what I'm actually doing is making a fishing rack. Now we all have our passions and hobbies. And for me, it is obviously woodworking. But for my brother, he actually has been really getting into fishing lately. And as you can see, he has been collecting fishing rods at a very quick rate. And that is something that I can definitely relate to because when I first started woodworking, I was collecting tools really quick because I was so into it. And it was something that I knew I wanted to do. And I definitely do see that in my brother right now. So the other day he and I talked and we both agreed that I could make him a fishing rack. And in the future, I can guarantee that he's going to be collecting more fishing rods. However, he and I both agreed that the rack that I'm going to build only needs to hold eight rods. And that'll be enough to fit in his room for now. Right, so for the first half of the day today, I actually designing this all on SketchUp. And as you can see, I don't have the whole thing done, but I have the majority of the components that we are going to be milling up today. So like I mentioned, this is going to be holding eight rods. So I'm going to have some holes here on the bottom. We pretty much just have the dimensions, the rough shape of it, and some of the design aspects. But for right now, this is all we really need. One other thing that I learned from building the desk was that you could have everything out on a software or a modeling program like SketchUp, and you could have everything planned out. But until you actually start building it, nothing is really set in stone, or at least for me anyways. Once I get into the actual project, I like to change stuff up and change how it looks or change dimensions or things like that. So I think this is going to be a similar project in that I could only put so much on the computer, but until I actually start building it, nothing is really permanent. So with all that being said, I now have to go once again to the bottom of my lumber pile to get a couple boards for this project. And for the rest of the day, we're going to be milling, cutting, planing, jointing, Alright, so I'm taking a bit of a break between steps here, and I thought I'd really quickly describe um, a little bit into each piece and how it's going to be used in the project. So, these three pieces right here, these long ones, are going to be jointed and ripped, and they're going to be glued together in order to create the bottom panel. Now, there's going to be a little bit of other decoration on this, but this is kind of like the main platform, and this will have some nice molding around it, It'll have some feet. The walnut is actually going to be used for some accent trim around the perimeter of where the rod actually sits into the base. So the plan for the rest of the day is to joint and rip these boards. And then the larger bottom panel, I'm going to actually glue that up. And I think I might be able to glue up a couple other sections as well. And the benefit of doing that is that then tomorrow morning, the glue will be dry and we will be able to do the surface prep as well as start on the joinery. And 
and I just noticed this is the very first time I'm putting my new extension table wing to use. When I just walked over here, I was like, oh, I'm actually using this now. Alright, so we are on our way. I ended up making a few design changes, like I mentioned I probably would, and in the result of that I ended up cutting of these I I ended up cutting these boards a little bit different for a few of them. And we have these pieces, these pieces, as well as these pieces, all two inches thick. And then these pieces are all ah, these are all a half of an inch thick. These are all these are three quarters. These are a half inch. I'll tell you what though, these Bessie clamps that I got here recently while I was building the desk, these are the best clamps that I have ever owned. This is not sponsored or paid or anything like that. This is just coming from me and my experience. I got these uh, Bessie K-Body clamps from Home Depot. They were a little bit expensive, but so I got four of them, right? and I used them on the desk and they totally, they totally saved my bacon on that. The amount of wood that you're able to fit in the jaws of these is just incredible and the bars don't flex or anything and you're able to get really good purchasing power on these nice big handles. If you are in the market for clamps, these are my recommendations. They're a little pricey, but where I would normally have to have three clamps just cinching it all together, you could turn this clamp sideways, but with these, I only have to put one on the end and one on the other end All right guys, so that is going to effectively end today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I did get the larger bottom panel all glued up. I'm super happy about that. I actually got a little bit later of a start today. It was like three o'clock when I started filming the video because it took me two or three hours to do the SketchUp model that I was showing you. But it's all good. I feel accomplished for the day. I feel like I got a lot done. I got a couple of other unique things that I'm going to incorporate into this. And I think that those are going to be interesting for you guys to watch and that should be uh, that should be fun. So if you guys have a project idea that you would like to see me build here in the shop, please do let me know down in the comments below. Those are always much appreciated. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for this one and I will see you guys tomorrow.